So what's this clean and dirty actually mean? Well, when people say, oh, this guy is dirty or this girl is dirty, uh, this is what I think. Okay, so someone who actually needs a shower because they've got dirt all over them. Um, and in terms of clean, this is what I think, uh, a baby that's just had a bath. Uh, but interestingly enough, is this baby actually clean? Uh, and what do I mean by the word clean? And should we even use the word clean? Well, every human being on planet Earth, in fact, every animal on planet Earth, so every multicellular organism on planet Earth, uh, contains a lot of uh, bacteria in their bodies. But let's just stick to humans at the moment. If I took all your DNA and piled it into a small little pile uh, in, uh, on a desk in front of me, uh, what would we what would we see? Well, a small little uh, pile of uh, DNA. Um, and 99% uh, of that DNA wouldn't actually belong to you, okay? Only about one out of push, 2% of that DNA belongs to you. So what does another, the other 98% belong to? Uh, well, it belongs to bacteria, viruses, protozoa, and all sorts of other uh, goodies that are uh, living in your body. Uh, humans, like all organisms, we're just uh, um, a walking, wheezing bag of, of viruses and bacteria, and that is what helps push evolution along. If it wasn't for, for bacteria and viruses, we wouldn't be here, and if it wasn't for vac bacteria and viruses, is we wouldn't be alive. So um, every human being isn't clean, but obviously the reason why people use that term is because they're referring to someone is dirty because they have a sexually transmitted infection. But even then, it, this is a wrong term to use. Uh, the reason why it's a wrong term to use is, and it all stems from ignorance, uh, the vast majority of uh, people in and I'd go as far as to say 100% of all human beings will con contract some form of sexually transmitted infection at some time in their life. So the last episode I talked about herpes, and 90% of all human beings, regardless of the society in which they live, will get herpes by the time they're 50. Let's look at the human herpes virus. Well, the reason why it's called, sorry, the human papilloma virus. The reason why it's called HPV, the human papilloma virus, is because humans have it. It's in uh, the human species. And you know when you were a kid and you went swimming and you came back with a little veruca, or you've been gardening and um, or you're playing out in the garden when you were a, a kid and you had a little wart on your finger? Well, that is uh, the human papilloma virus. Admittedly, they're different types from what causes genital warts, but it's still the human papilloma virus. So it is very, very wrong to start saying to people, ah, oh, you're dirty because you, can, you have a particular disease. Uh, and all this is coming down to is you're trying to put uh, shame uh, onto people um, for... Uh, or trying to put external shame onto people um, and uh, making them feel guilty uh, about what they, what some kind of perceived wrong that they have done, and they haven't done anything wrong at all. Obviously, it takes two people to have sex, uh, not just one. Well, ideally, two people uh, could be more as well. Uh, either way, um, so. So this all leads into stigma. So what is stigma? You have internal stigma and you have external stigma. Internal stigma is uh, effectively shame and expectation um, uh, and sorry, the expectation of discrimination that you put onto yourselves. Um, external uh, stigma um, is effectively um, the external or uh, enacted experience of unfair treatment uh, by others. So these are sort of like semi uh, dictionary definitions, if you like. Uh, so it's effectively uh, some form of uh, feeling uh, guilty about what you've done or what how other people are going to, to treat you. But this is all um, uh, misguided uh, uh, treatment of yourselves and treatment of others because it's a, effectively it's a form of prejudice and it all comes down from ignorance and that's all it comes down from and some people turn around and say well hang on a moment uh, the reason why people have sexually transmitted infections is because they have too many partners they're uh, promiscuous um, and they uh, don't take care of themselves Again, this is a viewpoint heavily based on ignorance. Uh, if you think no sex before marriage is going to protect you from a sexually transmitted infection, you can tell that to a very large cohort of my HIV patients who are happily married 
and they married as virgins, um, and but unfortunately they were uh, given um, HIV by their partners who weren't getting themselves text tested and were having sex with other people. Uh, so where does that leave no sex before marriage? Well, it doesn't leave anywhere because no sex before marriage is irrelevant when it comes to sexually transmitted infections. What is important is the prejudice and the stigma people are putting onto other people because they have had uh, sex and in their opinion they've had sex uh, not in the way they personally would like. And this is effectively the crux of the matter of stigma. If you are pers as a person, you're going around stigmatizing other people because you personally don't agree with their behavior, you are building up a whole uh, shitstorm for yourself and also uh, for others because it will only be a matter of time before you yourself come down with some kind of infection. Now, if you're very unlucky, and this is what it comes down to, luck, unfortunately, being in the right place, or should I say being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, and if you uh, pick up uh, an infection, like, for example, HIV, it is because you've been unlucky. Now, admittedly, you can increase your risk factors, but you can also decrease your risk factors. Um, I, I treat many individuals who have had hundreds of uh, sexual partners, and their risk of catching HIV is practically zero because they wear condoms, they take PrEP, and they take sensible precautions. There are other individuals who take no precautions whatsoever, um, very rarely have sex, but are actually high risk from certain infections. So it's all about getting educated. It's about making sure um, uh, not th that we get rid of ignorance around sexually transmitted infections. Uh, and so why would this all come and uh, bite someone back on the, uh, the arse? Well, well, the reason why someone is feeling very, very guilty that they've got HIV or herpes is because they've previously probably looked down on other people who have a sexually transmitted infection. They've done the old, ooh, you have what again? That's disgusting. That's gross stay back from me and the problem is with that point of view is as i said 90 percent of all individuals uh, will have herpes by the time they're 50 when they find out they have some form of herpes how are they going to feel they are going to feel exactly they will feel dirty and that's purely because of the stigma they put on other people as soon as they find out they've got an infection that reflects directly back on them and so therefore, uh, uh, it disrupts their whole psyche, if you like. Uh, 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 it can lead to depression, it can destroy relationships, and it can also mean uh, that they unwittingly sabotage a lot of the relationships they go and try to seek out. Um, and so, that, and they'll make a big deal of it. So instead of turning around to people and saying, oh, just to let you know, I've um, uh, had cold sores in the past, on, and they say that around their fourth or fifth date uh, and make no issue of it, they will turn around and start making the issue of, oh, what do you mean you're okay with that? Really? Oh, I'm not okay with that. How could you be okay with that? And then all of a sudden, they're sowing the seeds for the own, their own destruction of the relationship because this is what stigma does. Uh, not only does it destroy other people and make them feel very unhappy uh, and gives them, uh, gives them a sense of worthlessness, uh, when it comes back to bite you, as it normally always does, um, these, uh, this then can lead on uh, to depression. So what we need to do is we need to uh, stop all this stigma. Uh, you need to uh, stop stigmatizing people with sexually transmitted infections because this is purely a random game of luck. I have known uh, people who have been uh, uh, virgins, had sex once, and have come back with a HIV positive test. Okay, uh, so it's purely a luck thing. Uh, you obviously need to check regularly to make sure you don't have sexually transmitted infections and get informed. And together we can beat ignorance and then together we can beat stigma. But we can only do that if we as a society decide we want to work together. Anyway, if you like this episode, Please press subscribe and uh, like, that will help support the channel and uh, I'll see you at the next episode.